Welcome back to another video. Welcome to my LA vlog. I have already been and come back, um, but I realized I literally just jumped right in on the plane vlogging and it was a little bit unclear as to why I was going to LA. Also, does it look like I have a comb over going on? Kind of. Ever since I dyed my hair orange, I'm, I've am i I've been having a hair situation. It was my first time going to LA. Honestly, I had never had the desire to go to LA. If I wasn't going with MAC, I don't think I would have ever like sat down and planned to go to LA. I'm the, like the least influency influencer ever. I, you know, have no desire to go to LA and move to LA and, you know, join one of these hype houses and do all those things. I'm very happy in my little town near Montreal. Like I have no desire to move, but I am so grateful for Mac because I got to go and I liked it way more than I thought I was going to. Like I, you'll see it, like I loved it. I literally remember going to Mac with my sister when we were like probably like 10 and 12, the Hello Kitty collection and we bought basically everything. We saved all of our Christmas and birthday money and we would just spend it on Mac and to be going to LA with Mac was like the ultimate pinch me moment out of my whole influencing career thus far. They just flew some influencers down from Canada and all over the world. There were girls from Thailand and everywhere um, to come and celebrate the launch of the skincare brand, um, their skincare line. The trip with Mac was two days, but Nikki and I decided to extend our stay in LA to kind of see it more. And then we ended up falling in love with these studio tours, which you're going to see. And overall, I just had a really great time. So this is my LA vlog. Before we get into it, I just want to thank Seed for sponsoring today's video. I've been a longtime fan of Seed, their DSO-1 Daily Symbiotic. There's so many things about Seed that just make traveling with your symbiotics so much easier, so I wanted to mention that. Um, and any chance to give you guys a nice little discount on Seed, I will take it. So if you want to get 15% off your first month, you can use the code TONY15. There's just so many reasons I love Seed. Like I said, it's super easy to travel with because they do give you a travel container, which I need to refill. Seed is a symbiotic. It has a prebiotic and a probiotic. The prebiotic has so many benefits, um, including allowing you to keep your probiotics unrefrigerated, so they're super easy to travel with. And then the cap and cap technology makes it a lot softer on your stomach and it won't hurt your stomach if you take it first thing in the morning. I actually haven't taken mine yet. I take two every single day. And then another thing I love about Seed um, and their cap and cap technology is that it guarantees that you get all the benefits from your probiotics so that it makes it all the way to the end of your small intestine. This is what they look like. They're this really beautiful green color. I actually have, I didn't plan this, um, but I have a matching water bottle. Seed has so many benefits for your digestive health and your digestive tract. For me, I always experienced a lot of bloating and ever since starting to take Seed, it has helped it so much. But what's amazing about Seed is that they have so many benefits that go beyond your digestive tract. They have dermatological benefits, cardiovascular benefits. It helps with your gut barrier integrity, your gut immune function. There's just so many benefits you'll see. So yeah, we'll leave the link down below. Once again, thank you Seed for sponsoring this video. Now let's get into the We just got on the plane, it's a nice new plane. There's even a USB-C charger. For some reason, I didn't register in my mind that there was gonna be TVs on this plane. So she downloaded a bunch of audiobooks in fear. Of course I did. It's 8.30 in the morning. I would, I'm up at 3.30. Same, and we're ready to party. Ready to party. And we're gonna take a quick nap. And then we're gonna be up. ready to go. <laughs> And we're gonna eat. Yeah, I'm starving. Cause at home it's actually like three, almost four p.m. And what have we eaten today? Um, a, a bag of beef jerky. <laughs> <laughs> Someone pinched me. I cannot believe how I literally cannot believe we are here. We just got to the hotel. We're staying at the one hotel in West Hollywood, and it is definitely. Like, I want my whole house. I think everyone wants their house to look like this. It smells divine. But let's look at the room. It's so pretty. Nikki and I, um, unfortunately, will not be snuggling tonight, but that's okay. Look at this. It's so beautiful. Like, I'm not over 
this is why we're here for their hyper real i actually really love that the bomb and look oh at gosh. the look at the pretty shelf and it's lime wash nikki let's go look at the bathroom you go ahead and say can't even believe it it is so beautiful like literally the most beautiful place i think i've ever been we have a nice little Vanity, they can't. Oh, good lighting. We can both stand there. We can both stand there. So, I think we're going to grab something to eat. Where do you want to go? We can go to Joe and the Juice. We can go to Sweet Green. We can eat in the hotel. We can do whatever. Because our event, first event tonight. So, the plan for the day, there's only today and tomorrow. What does that say on it? This says, thank you for making the trip to the sunny west coast. I'm so thrilled to have you join us celebrate the latest breakthrough product innovation. I don't think, am I dreaming? Tonight we have welcome drinks and dinner, and then tomorrow we have a brunch, and then we also have, then we're going to a party in the hill, where, what are we doing tomorrow? A mansion in the hill, sunset party in the mansion in the hills. I feel so out of place, you guys. I feel so out of place. Do you feel out of place like this painting? <laughs> yeah. All right. But also, I have my period very intensely, and I was like having the worst period cramps ever before. Honestly. On the plane. Tony, just tell everyone what is one block from our hotel? The Oppenheim Group. Although it looks like not as beautiful in real life. I was a little let down by it. <laughs> but. But like, it was, it's still so Like, what would you do if Chris Shaw was in there right now? Well, I don't really like her. Okay. I, but I'm the type of person that a celebrity could be right in front of my face and I'd be like, huh? This is Tony's luggage. And it's the first time I'm using it. No. You used it to London. No, I didn't. You didn't? Yeah. I got it after London. Oh. And it's been amazing. It's been beyond amazing. I'm going to post it little review on my story. Okay, first stop, first thing I'm trying is sweet green. Nikki said it's the best. I built my own bowl with, I mix the cilantro lime dressing. But Nikki, you don't like cilantro. I know, I don't eat that dressing. Jenna loves it. But you said you want to try it. Yeah, I tasted it. It was good. Because oh, Nikki said she's allergic to cilantro. No, I didn't. And the green goddess dressing. And I added a ton of goat cheese and Brussels sprouts. And Sweet potato, but I don't even like sweet potato when it says really good. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> is it good? That is amazing. Just like dill. Can I taste it? Right. <laughs> okay. That dressing combo is superior. Now we're just gonna go back to the hotel and get coffee and relax for a little bit, shower, and then get ready for the event. And tell everyone who we just had a sweet green and next to. Why don't you tell everyone who we just, because I had no idea who we were having sweet green next to until you told me. My celebrity, oh my God, you look so little. My celebrity radar is on, and immediately they sat down, and I said, Tony, that's Colton Underwood. <laughs> Tony, just be hot. Thank you so much for coming to LA. Uh, it's so important to have you here. We know how your time is incredibly precious. For all of us, it's probably the most precious things in our life. And so for you to come from all over the world and being with us tonight and tomorrow, it's incredibly important. It is a love project. It's not like any other project. It's a project where we put every part of my passion into it. Uh, it, we, we tested so many formula all over the world. So it's the morning after the event last night was so cute and fun. Anyways, we came back to the hotel and passed out in five seconds. Like, I don't even, we put on a movie, I didn't even watch, I closed my eyes right away. Me too. And now we're going to wake up. We woke up pretty early because of the time change. And now we're going to go get coffee, go to the pharmacy, and then we have brunch at 10.30. And I'm wearing my favorite sweatpants from Aritzia, even though I think they shrunk a little bit in the wash. Okay, I find they get short yes. in the wash. Why? How That's are why I always have to buy the extra long pairs. It's okay. The other day, I just like stretched it a little like it helped. <laughs> One thing that. I love it. I'm gonna move here. You are? 
Take me with you. Currently, we are headed to brunch downstairs. We were supposed to go to a different restaurant, but we're going downstairs instead, which I'm grateful for. What time is it? It's literally 10 a.m. It feels like it's four in the mm -hmm. afternoon. Oh, we should go, Nikki. Is it it's at 10.30. Oh, I thought it was at 10. Oh, no. God. We're ready so early. Oh, OTD, three, two, one, go. It's the same one I put in my Revolve haul, but I tucked the frills in. Joni jeans. These are my Fendi sneakers. I'm finally getting a chance to wear Nikki's Fendi bag. She so kindly let me wear. And guess I'm a walking Fendi ad, even though we're not going outside. Oh, shoot. Um, I have my Fendi. So my bodysuit is from Aritzia. My overshirt is from Aritzia. Madame, you, have, you missed a button. My... <laughs> Jeans, where I missed the button, are from Princess Polly. My shoes are from Princess Polly. My sunglasses are Tony's Prada glasses because I'm stretching my new sunglasses and this is not Oh wait, we should actually stretch them while we wait. Just broke. Something. from brunch and something. We have a story. Something crazy happened. So me and Tony are on the sixth floor of this hotel and we were waiting for the elevator to come and around the corner this very tall blonde woman with massive sunglasses says, hello. So we're waiting for the elevator and we get in and we push the button and she goes, do you know where the lobby is? Like, oh yeah, we're, we're headed down there. She goes, I don't know what I would do without you. These sunglasses aren't doing me any justice. It was the, the Jennifer Coolidge. We had an elevator elevator ride <laughs> with Jennifer Coolidge. The Jennifer Coolidge, yeah. She and we, me and Tony looked at each other the second her voice came out. We were like, because. Let me just tell you, she's way more beautiful in person. Her hair. So put together. Like, I always see her looking like a mess on, like, in interviews and stuff. But she was so beautiful. Her hair was so nice. Beautiful all black elephant. I was like, is this, like, someone who looks like her? Because she, she was wearing sunglasses, so we didn't reckon, like, we didn't think of anything immediately. No, we just. Her, she, her voice came out, and we were like. We were like, oh, my God. And, like. I was starting to sweat. Like, as soon as she was talking. I know, I had to say, like, they could get it together. She was, like, <laughs> screaming in the lobby. And then we, like, got out of the elevator, and people were standing out there, and they're like, you were in the elevator with Jennifer Coolidge. Okay, so we went to the MAC party. It was in the hills, and it was so beautiful. I felt so out of place, but I just felt so lucky to be there and experience it and be with all of these amazing people. It was in someone's house on the hills. Like this is inside his house. And there were MAC makeup artists applying the skincare, doing makeup. It was a really cool experience. Then they made it fake snow. And I was like, oh my gosh, I literally just left a snowstorm and I came here and Ellie was freezing and it was snowing, but it was so beautiful. Um, but it was snowing all night. It wasn't a light snow, it was like a blizzard. <laughs> You guys, last night was, we got some vlog, vlog footage on our phone because we forgot the camera, but oh my gosh, it was a dream, like literally a dream, met all of my idols, were, well most of them, Patrick Starr, um, so many people, they were all so incredibly sweet and it was just the best time and then we went for dinner after and came back passed out and now we have room service. Nikki, look at the sausage. Look at the sausage. I know. It's looking heavenly. So we got a fruit bowl, sausage, potatoes, pancakes, a breakfast sandwich and a breakfast burrito and they have freshly squeezed orange juice at the one hotel and it's so it's good. so good. Oh my god and these little potatoes. But don't forget to tell everyone who the enigma of the evening was that showed up to the party. Cher. She Cher. just floated in. Floated in like a queen. I have never, that was crazy. That whole experience was just, oh, I, took I, you I can't believe my eyes. we were there. Nikki. Me too, and everyone was literally so nice. The sweetest people ever. Rate Desi Perkins, chat with her for 20 minutes on 10. 25. Like, she was so sweet. And so fun. So sweet, so fun. We're on the way to Universal Studios. It's a beautiful day, a little chilly, but I'm sure once we're walking,
We're here. We're here. They said check in early though. Oh, it says upgrade here. in the VIP lounge area waiting for our tour to start and there's coffee, refreshments, fruits, um, a look, maybe, cafe latte. Ooh. We just ate breakfast, but this is really cute. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki, I feel like I'm in heaven. Like, do you feel the magic already? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm so oh, wow. Talk louder. There's a TV. Laura, our tour guide, just told us we're staying is closed because they're filming. But we will get to drive by it. We'll get to drive by it and she'll tell us like where they filmed other things on the lot. She knows we're a huge Desperate Housewives fan, so it's okay. still gonna be a great day. We're gonna feel the magic. Tony's 40, okay, not 48 inches. <laughs> it's mummy time. Oh my gosh. No, I'm I'm dying. <laughs> the mummy is the best of the superior ride. Oh my god, oh my god, my idol. My idol is there. to be back in Hogwarts. Yeah. That's where we are, right? Yeah. We're in Hogsmeade. Oh. There's Hogwarts. Oh. Um, you can't even see it with the lighting. Home. You feel like you're, oh, there we go. Now you can see it. You feel like you're back at home? Hogsmeade feels like home to me. I'm so happy for you. So, I'm so excited to go in. Yay! It's our favorite ride. We got our butter beer, frozen butter beer, the superior option. Yeah! We're gonna sit in the We're gonna sit. Forever. Anywhere? What's the better side to sit on? <laughs> yeah, what's the best side to sit on? Uh, it's, it depends. Our own incorporated city. Here on your screens, the guy with the bow tie. That's our founder, Carl Lemley. And it was his dream to open a city devoted to the art of filmmaking, and that's exactly what he did. Once in London, you see that glass building. When Idris Elba's on the motorcycle, they're like chasing after him. You see that glass building like three times in the same chase sequence. It's also that set, we call it our metropolitan set. Wow, there's so much activity. We've got some thunder, we've got some lightning. What else do we need to make a storm? Come on guys, what else do we need? Very cool. Whenever we see weather in movies, it makes scarier scenes even scarier. Guys, I'm so sorry. I left the effect off too long. She was like, nope, not today. <laughs> Edie scattered Mrs. Huber's ashes, and then they get into that fight where they like throw the ashes at each other. That's where they did it, off to the left, in Desperate Housewives. been on this like little railing and then literally you guys if you take a picture this way this is where Anne Hathaway like leads them across the street it looks the straight up same like it looks exactly like this so we're in Genovia yeah we're in Genovia right now <laughs> yeah. always remember this as the day where you almost caught Captain Jack Sparrow and he goes running away uh, then he hides over here in this little stone alcove there's a statue in front of him, and he hides behind the statue, and then the red coats go running past. He takes the sword out from the hand of the statue and then wobbles his way down the stairs into Will Turner's blacksmith shop. So for the duel with Orlando Bloom, whenever you see a character walking into or out of a building, more than likely that's two different filming locations. They're caught the rock shark. What's going on over there? There's another shark in the 
water. <gasps> you guys, that's my boyfriend, George. George, get out of the water, sweetheart, you silly Billy. Swim to the boat, sweetheart. I love you. Okay, see you at home. He's okay? Cool. Alright, so I still have a boyfriend. It's all good. Okay, so the shark is somewhere out there and it appears to have taken that bait attached to the yellow barrel. Okay. Oh no, I know that sharks are attracted to fire. Where is the shark? Mysteria Lane. The Bates Motel is so cute, you guys. In fact, I think they have some vacancies. They have um, like a couple cabins that are open. Look at the mansion. Oh, 12 cabins. 12 cabins, 12, 12 vacancies. Okay, great. So 12 cabins, 12. Oh, you guys, there's Norman Bates. <gasps> the rumors are true. He's such a lady killer. He's been slashing prices here. And they just instituted a new policy. They help people to their cars. Is that sweet? Oh my gosh. And a woman checked in here. See? That's what I was talking about. He's helping her to her car. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, we might... Oh, hello, Norman, sir. <laughs> no, none of us saw anything. In fact, oh no. This set, my friends, was used in a movie called War of the Worlds. Wow. Which was based on another movie called War of the Worlds which was based on a radio play called War of the Worlds, which was based on a novel called Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Very good. So what do you think, guys? Do you want to take a walk? This set is where um, they would camp in Desert Housewives. I want to go look, look up all these things to see it. And look, I'm assuming there is like, they probably put this with water. Like to make it a lake. And then here, here is a plane crash from War of the World, which this is insane. Studio tour. I'm Jordan Jordan Hills. Exactly. So usually, like a plane would like we would gut the plane and then like sell it off. But that's the level of realism that seems number one to achieve. And the set, we left it completely like as intended. <laughs> Tony, that's cool. That is the Psycho House from Bates Motel and Psycho. So we just, oh my god, I just got so scared. There's a mirror there now. It's like, who is standing there? <laughs> um, we just changed hotels after Universal, went to get our luggage at the one hotel, and now we're at 60 in Beverly Hills, and the room is so cool. Really nice bathroom. Me too. So, what's our plan for the evening? We're going to, I guess, relax, get ready quickly, and then we have dinner at John and Vinny's at 8.15. No, we don't. Nikki said if I don't act cool, she's gonna me. Well, tell everyone what you booked for Sunday because you're in a infatuation. I booked the Warner Bros. <laughs> Warner Brothers. But online it says Warner Bros. It's like it's like shortened. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's the chopped salad. But it's really intriguing because it has so prasada in it. Mmm. That's gorgeous. <laughs> Good. It's the Brooklyn Dodger, so it's a regular Thanks. pizza, but then it also has aged mozzarella on top. Sign. Are we all first time? You're not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm getting ready for the day. Nikki is still in bed. <laughs> <laughs> I just take longer than her to get ready. Um, today is our first day kind of like doing whatever we want. We don't have, well actually yesterday also, but we have to switch hotels. We switched hotels to 60 in Beverly Hills just because 
um west hollywood was nice but this is kind of like where the main place we wanted to be everything we wanted to do is in um beverly hills and we were staying in west hollywood and also the one hotel is so expensive that we were like we're not paying that for the rest of the trip i'm just doing some quick makeup my hair isn't dirty but for the mac event i put it up and i didn't bring anything like slick stick hairspray so i literally used the refi lip gloss to slick down my hair and it worked perfectly i saw it, um that on instagram someone do that and thankfully i had it because it worked perfectly today i'm just using the flex sunscreen and then the faux filter huda concealer and i've been loving these she glam products this is the golden sun contour and this is the love cake um blush these are honestly like my favorite cream blushes i didn't they didn't send them to me bought them myself but they blend so nicely and they look so natural and that contour is like the perfect subtle contour shade so the plan for today is we're gonna go to air one we want to try those crazy expensive smoothies we walked in last night and there was a bottle of coconut water for 21 us dollars that is like 85 canadian dollars like that is crazy and then there was like a shot of like a gut shot that would be like six seven eight dollars was 25 dollars us so we were like a little bit shook but we're definitely going to go and try those smoothies. We want to try Phil's coffee. You know, just do the things that we see all over TikTok and YouTube. Uh, this is, like I said, the first time I've been to LA. So I have to live out all of like my LA YouTuber fantasies. We're going to walk around, walk on Rodeo, see what's up. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. So we're going to do that. I'm going to finish my makeup, charge the cam a little bit. All right, you go. Oh, blurry outfit of the day we have these fendi glasses on little aretzia tank top frankie shop blazer oh, dirty floor um these are the aretzia utility pads and my little white sneak snick what are you wearing oh you looks like a cool girl these uh this bodysuit is from abercrombie this blazer is from revolve these pants are princess polly these are new balance and these are tony's bitchy product glasses beautiful Okay, so we just got Phil's. Nikki, what's your thoughts? Um, 12 on 10, wish we had it at home. It's so refreshing and like light. I like it because sometimes I find like having lattes is really, like Nikki said, heavy. But it's just so good. But this is really, I got the ginger, the, snap. the ginger snap. It has hints of cinnamon, ginger, you go. I got the Tesoro, which is like the classic one. But I know Emma Chamberlain gets Jacob's Wonder Bar and like, I was really um you regret not getting it no because mine's delish but like i should have tried emma's order it's cr i find it funny that they put iced coffee in like a hot i know cup. they always do it's like a, i think sustainable so far the first thing we tried today is a 10 on 10. okay so we got our smoothies the cloud mariana hewitt's and Haley bieber strawberry glaze we also got a blueberry muffin because it was looking me in the face to try it okay I don't even know what this is meant to taste like, but it's yeah. coconut. It's coconut. It's like banana. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's definitely interesting. Mm. I like mine better because everything Haley does is amazing. Yeah, I mean they taste like smoothies. It's actually very good. Worth a thousand dollars? I don't know. Mmm. <laughs> mm. That's the best thing. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna finish this and then walk around a little bit, up and down these streets. Such a beautiful day. I'm back. I definitely did. Wait, let me actually, I'm adjusting the lighting here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We did a lot of shopping. A lo well, Nikki, did, Nikki didn't buy, did you buy anything? Yeah, at Sephora. Oh, at Sephora. Um, but I bought some things at Sephora, Aloe, Fendi, and Chanel. 
So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I'll start with what I got at Sephora and like kind of show you what I got in the order that I got it in. So I went to Sephora and I wasn't planning to buy anything because I really don't need anything. But they had all these things that we didn't have at home. So I was like, you guys know I have no self-control. So I picked up the Refi Brow Gel because apparently it's the best brow gel i haven't tried it yet oh does it, is there fibers in them see how this oh it actually looks really good so you have your brow gel on the side a nice floofy brow and then on the other side you have this little spoolie i got the new nars what is this even called soft matte advanced perfecting powder in the shade oh, etan's calling hold on but i picked up the nars Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting Powder in the color Cove. Nikki said that this just came out today. I don't know. Nikki knew more about it than I did. Because I have TikTok and you don't. Oh, that's true. <laughs> and that's where I saw it. Literally first thing this morning. And apparently there's like skincare in it. Anyways, I love all of NARS products. So pick that up. And then I picked up the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer in the shade Oat. I used this in the past and everyone I asked at the mac event what they were using it was this concealer and um even a lot of like people on tiktok were using this concealer so sorry <laughs> i took a tumble <laughs> i took a tumble um so i'm excited to use this i might use this try this out tonight then they had this whole gucci section and typically i wouldn't have spent this much on a lip liner and a lipstick however what I fell in love with the color and they only had one left so I took it kind of like a sign so the lipstick was a really nice balmy glossy lipstick which is my favorite and this is in the color 113 Lynette stone like brown I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that and then I picked up the lip liner in the shade nude again there was only one left so I was like is it a sign? I took it as a sign. Oh, and then we went to lunch at, what was it called, Nikki? El Pastayo, Pastayo? We had the just, I'll put a picture. We had the Justin Bieber pasta, the Caesar salad, and the ravioli stuff with mushrooms in a truffle sauce. They were all very good. The Caesar salad, I didn't really love, but the pastas were very good. I think, in, like, I do, now being here, eating at these restaurants, I do see why people think Montreal has the best restaurants, because, like, compared to Montreal, I just don't, it's, like, Montreal just has the best restaurants. So then we walked around, we walked down Rodeo, and we stopped in at all of the stores and I was being really good and then we got to Fendi and the sales associate working at Fendi was so nice like for me if you are so nice and sweet and like not snobby or like you know like doesn't don't give us a time of day like I am so much more likely to buy something and if he wasn't so nice I probably would not have bought anything but I did buy something so Nikki has the little baguette in the canvas the Fendi canvas where is it? Should be behind my oh. I didn't even know Nikki had this. She like hid it from me. Cause I thought maybe you were gonna creep into my room in the middle of the night and steal it. I was planning on it. So this is the bag that um, Nikki just got, and he showed me in the store. Do you mind if I show them? You can show them. I don't even think my sister knows that you can do this. She has like a little little other baguette. So maybe if you have it, you don't know that you can do it. So she turned it into a shoulder bag by taking this long strap because. That my issue with, um... Big party in the hallway. My issue with these crossbody bags is that the, the strap is so long. So she took it, put it through like this on each side, and attached it. And then she did the same thing on the other side. I really had no idea you could do this. Nikki, you were hiding this little hack from me. It should be at Fendi in Montreal. Oh. So you do the same thing on both sides and then you have like the cutest little shoulder bag anyways i fell in love with nikki's bag and i love the um brown canvas but i was not wanting to spend i think it was like 2300 dollars us on the bag and i needed a new wallet because i have a wallet but it's really 
I find I find it really big so I wanted something a little bit smaller so I picked up this little wallet in the same canvas looks like this and the back is just like a leather a brown leather if you're nice you can just borrow my back oh thank you Nikki that's very sweet so it has a little coin purse she said depending on your car key it could fit in the front I don't my car key is a little bit hefty so I don't know if it will shoes are where I really go crazy like all my self-control goes out the window when I see a pair of shoes that I like so then we went to Neiman Marcus and the cutest man the sweetest man was working there and again he was so helpful he was like an older gentleman wearing a gray suit and these crazy sneakers like he was seriously just the cutest man most helpful man ever and so I was like looking at the ballet flats because I got um, a pair of kind of ballet flats from Zara that I love and so these ballet flats have been sold out the Chanel ballet flats have been sold out in Montreal Forever. Like, I don't even think they ever came to Montreal. They had them there. The nude ones were completely sold out, but they had the black ones. I had to size up half a size to a six and a half. So, I'm going to wear these tonight. Oh, okay. Shoe down. I picked up the black ballet flats um, with the padded toe. So, they also had the quilted ones where it was just like leather, like, um, like a matte leather throughout the whole shoe but something about the patent toe just kind of took it up like made it a little bit fancier they're a shoe that you could wear that kind of dresses up the outfit that isn't a pair of flip-flops or slides we went to aloe um i actually don't own any workout clothes from aloe but you guys know i'm a diehard lululemon fan but they had really cute things as well and so i picked some stuff up and also aloe in canada is way more expensive not even just from the conversion but aloe they'll take the same thing that is like a hundred dollars here and make it 250 dollars in canada for some reason if there was any time to try it it would be now so i picked up this little skirt dress thing it has shorts underneath this is called it doesn't say but I'll, I'll leave everything linked down below and they had a whole brown section so i picked up this brown little cropped t-shirt i just got a cropped t-shirt like this from dynamite in black and i loved it oh i'm sorry i loved it um under my black suit and this i thought would even look really cute with what i'm wearing today i love when it's like those really crop tops under blazers and then also i got it to go one second to go with these black black with these brown leggings so i have brown leggings from lululemon but this is a different brown and also these are just like a little bit thicker anyways you can never have too many pairs of brown leggings so these are a little bit flared i love a good flared legging i picked up this gray little t-shirt and the reason i picked it up is because it's so thick and it feels like it's going to be so supportive oftentimes like these little tank tops are like really thin and flimsy but this one is really nice and thick it feels like triple layered like it's so nice the last thing i picked up is this little brown sports bra and all of that came in a really a really nice aloe little bag so that's what i picked up today it's the only shopping day we're gonna have so I feel like I did pretty good. All, like I didn't go overboard. I definitely saw way more things. Like we went into Prada and they had such nice Prada shoes and I, I held myself back. That was good control. I know. And even Nikki was like, like if I bought those like beige camel slides, you would have supported my decision. I would have supported your decision because I know that you would wear those. So now we're just going to relax. I'm going to try the aloe stuff on because if they don't fit, I'm going to go and return them like before we yeah. leave. For dinner tonight, I'm wearing my Aritzia black suit. I have this little black top on. Nikki wants to wear the same black suit. Well, I don't have anything else to wear. I just have a beige suit. And then for my shoes, I'm going to wear these little black ballet flats. Nikki, you can wear the black one. I was just kidding. No. No, okay. no, you can wear the black one. <laughs> okay. You can wear the black one. All right, so we went for dinner. It was great. We came home and we ordered crumble cookies. Well, they, they, they took about two hours. So because I... nothing at um, Craig's was like calling our name for dessert. So we were like, you know what? Let, I'm sorry, I was picking my face too. We were like, 
Um, then he was like, let's just order crumble cookies. So then we ordered them when we were waiting for our Uber and they only just arrived. Two hours later. Two hours later. So let's see what you got, Nick. I got a four pack. <gasps> OMG. Yeah. I'm unwell. Let me put my <gasps> chocolate chip cookie. Chocolate chip. That's the Oreo. That's the pink classic Sugar. pink. And that's honey bun. I want to try honey bun. Go for it, Nikki. What do you want to try? I want to try the same one as you. So what is this supposed to be? This is the honey bun one. Oh, it smells really good. It's giving... It's really sweet. Drywall. <laughs> now we're trying the Oreo one. Mm. It looks like that. I guess we are eating these crumbly cookies in bed. I like that one. You don't like it? I like the icing. It's the or inside of an Oreo. Ain't no way that's the inside of an Oreo, but my friend. But it's like that flavor. Ooh, I think that one's gonna be my fave. This is the classic chocolate chip, chocolate cookie. chip cookie. I'm a what? I didn't tell myself that hair is from you. Mmm. Mmm. So far, oh. superior one. It's very sweet. But does it have a flavor? It tastes like my teeth are getting cavities. My brain is very confused. This one's not bad, but the ones from Walmart are better. That was our crumble cookie review. Thanks for tuning in to our crumble cookie review. Now we're going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a fun, exciting, really exciting lunch meeting for CNC this morning at Earth Cafe. The food was really good, but I couldn't really enjoy it. I, we were just chatting so much. And now we're on the way to Warner Bros. For our studio tour. We are here. Nikki's not as excited as I am for this. She actually didn't even want to come, but I'm dragging her I here. I am so happy to be here. I thought she would be more excited because this is where, what, they filmed Harry Potter? Well, parts of it. And I'm so excited because this is where they filmed Friends and the Big Bang Theory. Are you excited? <laughs> We're having a little snack before our tour. This is included in the VIP tour. Plus tour? The plus tour. The plus tour. Bear claw, some chips, water, and a coffee because I'm falling asleep. Let's try the bear claws. This little nub is calling on my Taste test. It's alright. So they didn't let us take any videos on the Warner Brothers tour, but we started on Hennessy Street. This is where they filmed Annie. It was one of Annie's orphanages. And then this I thought was really cool. It's where they filmed the last scene of you of the last season where Joe is in Paris. This is actually where they filmed the Spider-Man kiss and they film a lot of like alley scenes here. Right now this is decorated for young Sheldon, but this has also been seen in the Oceans movies as the front of the casino. And this is what it looks like when they're actively filming. The front of the stores are set up for young Sheldon. This is the cabin from Pretty Little Liars. It's in their little jungle forest area. It's also been in Annabelle and the area around it can be seen in the Nun movie. This is also where the paintball scenes in The Big Bang Theory take place. This area right next to the cabins is actually where Rory hit the deer in Gilmore Girls. Here is where Stars Hollow is set. It's also where Pretty Little Liars takes place. This church can obviously be seen in Pretty Little Liars. And what's cool about the church is that each side has a different face. So one side could be a church, the other side could be a school. This is the iconic gazebo from Gilmore Girls, which is right in the center of the little town. And then here is Luke's Diner. You can see it's on the corner and behind it, you can see the church and the entire little town as well. This school is on the opposite side of the church facing it. It is right now set up for young Sheldon. It was Rosewood High in Pretty Little Liars. And what's cool is that they can decorate it differently and make it look completely different depending on the show or the movie. This is the front of the alibi room from Shameless. This is just the front. The actual inside of the bar was filmed in a soundstage. And this was also in Stars Hollow. This was Love's Bakery in You. I thought it was so cool because in the show, it actually looks like it's on a busy street, but this was a standalone building. There was nothing next to it. The next thing we saw was the prop department. We weren't allowed to take pictures, but I snuck a few. Here is the Oval Office desk they use a lot. And then we also saw a lot of things with the word Scream written on it, reserved for another Scream movie. Here is Central Perk Cafe. 
and then they had a whole Big Bang Theory set set up, which was my personal favorite. I'm the biggest Big Bang Theory fan. Action. <laughs> Look, Tony. So part of the experience is you get a lunch at Central Park. And so you get a beverage, a side, and a main meal. So I'll show you the main meal. We both got chips with our side. I got the Chandler, you got the Rachel, which is a matcha, and I got a caramel hazelnut latte. There's caramel on top. Mmm. That's really good. This is the pizza, and that's Nikki's sandwich. Probably gourmet meal, but it's free. Yeah. And it's cheesy. Ooh. Ooh. Don't fill up, we have dinner soon. <laughs> Which is also in the Stars Hollow, which is also in on the set of You with Love's Bakery. If you look this way, there's another set. If you look that way, there's another one. Nikki's <laughs> <laughs> in heaven! <laughs> Hidden in your head, the sorting hat can't see. So try me on, and I will tell you where you ought to be. <laughs> Your cunning is matched by few. Yes, no question here. You belong in slithery. <laughs> it can only be Gryffindor. <laughs> Nikki, where are you? I'm in Harry's closet on Privet Drive. Fuck, this is his bedroom. We are at the Harry gift shop. I'm gonna buy my sister a dragonfly in mug. I wonder what the camera is. You can smell it from here. It smells like cinnamon. I'll pack it for a children's toy. Oh, my God, this is so cute. There might be more on the other side. I want this one. Oh, here's all the fun things. I don't like it. I'm eating my Quest trips. I'm looking rather disheveled too. But you're not wearing your new shirt. No, not the right new shirt. The big bang? I know, she didn't want to be seen with me if I wore it. got a new shirt that says Bazinga in the periodic table. It's my new favorite shirt. I know you're jealous of my chips. <laughs> Anyways, that was our trip. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm sad to be going home, but also really excited to be going home. So that's all for now.